Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to this whiskey review where today we're going to be continuing on our Glen Cadden Week. Hashtag Glen Cadden Week. And we're going to be reviewing today the 13-year-old called The Reawakening. Now, this is an expression that was brought out last year in 2017. And I'll get to the story behind that in just a second. But also, if you have missed my playlist into the Glen Cadden Reviews, I'll leave it over here in the top corner. Feel free to go and check it out after the week's done. You'll pretty much see a whole week of Glen Cadden videos, which will be quite cool. So let's get into this whiskey itself. Now, the Glen Cadden, the distillery was initially kept closed and silent between 2000 and 2003. And that's where Angus Dundee came along and bought over the distillery. And that's when they started reactivating and sort of getting back to normal production. So this is their expression from, which was bottled in 2017. It's a 13 year old expression, bottled at 46%. It's fully matured, I've been told, in bourbon casks. And in terms of the distillery itself is the Glen Cadden Distillery. They're owned by the parent company, Angus Dundee, and they're located in the Highland region of Scotland. Now, fingers crossed, at some point in the future, we will be able to pay them a visit, as I've seen some really awesome pictures on Instagram, and I really want to go and visit this distillery. Now, the price point on this one over here is at £46 currently here in the United Kingdom. And when you're asking about exclusivity, yes, it is. Now, it's limited to only 6,000 bottles. So it's something that it might be there one week and next week you probably won't see it at all because we'll have limited allocation all around the world. Now, in terms of any caramel coloring in this one, you guys can probably see this is very light whiskey. It's all naturally colored and it is non-shell filtered as Angus, Angus Dundee with the Glen Cadden range. Make sure everything is natural color and non-chill filtered. So that means without further ado, let's jump straight into the nose, into the nose. So first things up on the nose of this whiskey, the Glen Cadham 13. It's very light, it's very floral. Something that me and the brand ambassador, when we sat last year, the global ambassador, Ian, we sat down and we spoke about this whiskey. We both picked out sugared almonds or liquidized sugared almonds straight away on the nose. And I'm still finding that today, these liquidized sugared almonds. A grassier character then develops like sort of freshly cut grass. Maybe a, a bit of lemongrass as well on the nose of this one. And then you get into these fruitier profiles. It's like green grapes, green apples. And then you get this little bit of sweetness. And it to me is like a sort of with a cereal note, but it reminds me of a maple flapjack. Wow, so easy to nose this whiskey. It doesn't have so much complexity on the nose, but we're going to see what we can find next into the palate. Slanger. Moving over to the palate now, arrival on the palate, this has got quite a nice medium full texture. Quite nice, viscous, a little bit oily actually, as it coats the palate. First impressions though, in terms of flavor profile, you do get this lemongrass character really coming through. You then get this toffee apple note, a little bit of sort of a barley character, a malty character on this one. And then you get notes of sour pears, a little bit of wood spices, it then gets a slightly bit nutty and it gets, for me, I'm thinking, I was thinking sugared almonds initially on the palate, but now it's developed into sort of a salty character, which is very different from the other expression, the 10 year old. I'm getting a little bit of a salted almond where you really do get that little bit of saltiness on this one. And then you get a bit of pistachios and it ends with a little bit more sweeter notes just on the end. I say along the lines of butterscotch. Very nice whiskey. Quite complex where it's gone from like, suddenly from sweet all the way to sort of a like, sour note all over the place. This is really interesting. Let's get to the finish and we'll come to our conclusion on the reawakening. So finally now into the finish with this whiskey. My initial impression on the finish with this one, it's got quite a nice long finish. It does hold itself very well. Lots of these greener aspects in terms of this green apple-y character really coming through. A slight maltiness, salted caramel and almost like a sweet floral character, like a honeysuckle. Very, lots of complexity, lots of flavors all over the place, which is really actually really fun on this whiskey. So in terms of my rating, I'm gonna give it this, giving it an 86 out of 100. Reason being, when it comes to this whiskey overall, it's just got such a really approachable character in this whiskey. It's light, it's grassy. Then you get these fruitier aspects, this salted aspect, which comes out of nowhere. And it's really, really well balanced together. In terms of also for its price point, around about 46, 45 pounds, very good pricing and it's a limited edition. So it gets a double price because they could have easily put this 20 or 30 pounds more, but they kept it very well priced. And that's something I really respect with this whiskey. In terms of it doesn't need water, doesn't need time. I did try it with water the first time 
Some say it's like 50-50, but it does remove that nice viscosity on the texture. Time of this whiskey, completely down to your optional opinion. Um, but overall, 86 out of 100, I really enjoy this. And it's a very nice change up compared to the 10. But I'm looking forward to getting into the range next. So next video should be the 15 year old. If you guys have enjoyed, drop it a thumbs up as it's always appreciated. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. So you can stay up to date with some of all the videos that are coming out. And also I'll leave some other Academy videos on screen. But this has been me, Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas. And we'll catch you for the next video. Slanja.